Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2017 here in Busan in the Republic of Korea, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Beate Degen, who is a partner at Ernst & Young. Beate, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very much for letting me be here. <laughs> now, I'd like to start off by talking about smart digital transformation, which is the, uh, the key buzzword, the theme here for ITU Telecom World. What does it mean to you? Starting actually first with the question, what is smart? What does smart mean in today's world? Because um, smart isn't, is no, is, isn't just but digital. I think it's much more. It's making smart decisions when it comes to digital. It's being smart when it comes to be good in staying human, making sure we have the right data protection, we have the right data security, and we're also ensuring that by using all of this fascinating technology from AI, predictive maintenance, IoT, that we still make sure that we serve the basic human needs and we, that we improve some of the most stringent topics of today's world, like access to food, access to healthcare, and access to education. Now, I know that uh, something that's uh, very much sort of foremost in, in, in uh, your sites is uh, gender equality, perhaps. Uh, uh, we, we, we talk about that, perhaps we talk about digital empowerment of women. How do you see digital empowerment women going for the next sort of five years and what, what do you think are the key challenges? I think that's probably one of the most substantial topics. Um, there was a study of the World Economic Forum, I think published last year, which um, looked at the 15 biggest economies covering about 1.9 billion of um, employees in the workforce, covering 65% of the global workforce. And actually, what they are saying is what they found out is that by 2000, by 2020, 5.1 million jobs will be remain. So 7.1 million jobs will be cut off in the end. There will be 2 million of new jobs and so to speak kind of the difference is 5.1 million. And these would basically be white color workers for administration office works and this is where we very often find um, the female workforce in. And that poses quite an, quite an important challenge for today's society because the new jobs are created in those areas where you currently don't have too many women working. These are the STEM topics like architects, mathematicians, IT experts, etc. etc. And also what this study says is that for three jobs disappearing through digitalization, one new job will be created for men, but only five to one ratio you will find with women. So the gender gap is even getting, I would say, worse through digitalization. But I don't want to be that negative about that. I think there are some great initiatives going on. The UN has just launched, I think, probably one of the most fantastic one, which is called Equals, which is really tapping into how can we actually help through digital transformation closing the gender gap. So I think on the one hand side it faces a big challenge, but on the other hand side I would say there's a lot of hope and there's also a lot of need to, to make this actually work better. And we as a firm from an EY perspective, we are setting up, or we have already set up, um, big initiatives for leadership programs for women in the tech area, STEM workshops, we're getting involved in the Girls at ICT Day, for example, pushed forward by ITU. So I would say I'm very passionate about the topic, so my, since my own background is coming from STEM topic, it's, I think it's, it's very important to bring in the young girls already into that space and to enable them to find their way of working in the digital world of today. Well, ITU, of course, is uh, very supportive and, in fact, very uh, in, involved in both of those campaigns, Girls in ICT and, of course, Equals. I see you're wearing the, uh, the Equals badge there uh, uh, of the logo there, and, and people can and get, get information for the, about the campaign at equals.org. But that's, that's wonderful. Well, that's, I'm really pleased uh, uh, to see that you're promoting that, and obviously EY are being very supportive in that as well. And now, in terms of uh, the power of digitalization, perhaps we could talk about that. In, in, in your company and beyond and how are you developing this and what do you hope to achieve? Probably starting with EY as a firm in itself. For us, 
digitalization is a must have. It's not a nice to have, it's also something we want to have at one point in time. We are already digital. And I would say the speed of change is quite substantial. So for us, having a mobile desk is a given. So all employees have a mobile phone, have access to link slash Skype, so we can literally work from anywhere in the world. And we also use bots, AI, robotics, for a lot of, I would say, on the administrative side to make processes flow smarter through the system. So just to name a few examples, I would say for us it's a must-have and also on the client side. And of course, and I'm always saying it's not about a digitalization strategy, it's in the end. Digitalization is there. It's nothing in the future, it's there. It's more the way how do you embrace it and how do you make sure it really flows through your entire value chain. And Germany has just launched a very interesting initiative for the so-called Mittelstand, the mid-sized companies, which go actually yeah, industry 4.0, but exactly for that space. And as you probably know, the mid-sized companies are actually Germany's backbone for the economy and it's quite fascinating to see how they use digitalization actually to maintain or improve their market position as tech leaders. Yeah, in terms of attending events such as this, IT Telecom World is uh, here in, in Busan in Korea, it's obviously been a long way to come. I just wanted to find out what's the value of attending events such as this for you? Very, very good question. I could give you most likely now an answer for about the next 30 minutes, but I'm afraid we don't have that much time. I personally think what ITU is doing in the sense of saying, well, telecommunication is now digitalization. It's digital. It's no longer the analog way of picking up a phone. And I remember times where you still had this wheel where you can, could kind of do this analog wheel thing. That's over. And what I find extremely important is that there is a United Nations body, like ITU, pushing for digitalization and tying the dots in the public-private partnership. There are other conferences in the digitalization ITC space which probably address a slightly different area. So I'm very passionate about this idea, what the UN is doing there, and I'm strongly convinced that if the private sector and the public sector, and of course the NGOs, address this together, we can overcome some of these most stringent challenges. And I mentioned it earlier on, I think it's of utmost important to look at the, the most critical topic of today's world. So many kids still don't have access to proper food, proper water and proper healthcare. Vaccination, that's just to start with that. And I think digitalization can play a big role in that. And with some of the UN bodies combined with the regulators, the governments, and of course the private sector, I think this could be a huge differentiator. So this is why I think this is, this is great to have these type of events and to meet people from all different sectors. I've met some fantastic people here, totally different background, but we're all kind of passionate and interested about the same things and so hopefully we can make a difference. Now this, this video is going beyond these walls, I just wanted to find out if you had a sort of key message you'd like to, to address our, our audience with. That's a very difficult question, but I must say a good one. The, the message is um, stay motivated. Don't think for a lot of things it's too late to step into digitalization and focus on the most prominent topics of today's world. And not only to look at what's the pure economic value, but look beyond and really say, can digitalization hopefully make this world a better working world? Stigan, thank you very much indeed. Great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>